This is Engineering Summary Update for the sprint ending on November 23rd, 2021. So this sprint, we worked on GetFlow, Forms and Workflows, Permission, Payment Notification, and Miscellaneous Task. So for GetFlow, we added a visit page on the logbook. We added the ability to switch from the old design to the new design. An SMS is now signed every time an invitation is, is sent. And we also remove mandatory fields for visitors, as well as various bug fixes. We wanted to add basic statistics on who was at Ciudad Morazan and a community settings for advanced guest verification. But we did not have the bandwidth to do that, as we preferred ironing out issues with the new logbook experience. For forms and workflows, we worked on a complete task detail redesigned, as well as the ability to build a task list. We wanted to add and edit a template task with subtask, as well as the ability to link a forms to a parent task, but we decided to put those two items on the back burner and focus on the experience of the task redesign. For permissions, we removed backward compatibility permissions on the logbook just to see how the system would behave, and it was a success. In the following sprint, we will remove all the backward compatibility permissions, and this will conclude our new permission system. We wanted to add roles by community we are almost done with the code. There is a merge request, but we decided not to push it this sprint, and we will actually push it within the next couple of days. Payment notification. We made minor UI dashboard changes, and we added the ability to print multiple receipts when payments are made for multiple plans, and the ability to allocate funds in a general plan to a new plan. We wanted to work on the ability to transfer single payments in addition to all payment and display the general funds plan to as a normal plan. We didn't get to work on the last two as we didn't have design fast enough. In terms of miscellaneous task, we worked on changing the welcome email for Ciudad Morazan and we also added translation as part of it. We disabled the merging of a merge request with code coverage drops in percentage or new vulnerabilities, meaning that if there's any percentage drops or any new vulnerabilities as part of the merge request, we cannot merge the code until we have additional approval. We also added a WordPress instance for Tilisi. We wanted to ensure all the clients were on Google Analytics. We did just didn't have time to work on that. And researching face recognition libraries for Ciudad Morazan, we still have to research CompreFace. We wanted to do this this sprint, but we didn't have the bandwidth to do so. So next sprint, we really have to work on the statistics on who is at Ciudad Morazan. Hopefully it will be done within the next couple of days. And a community settings for advanced guest verification, as well as we really need to start simplifying the registration process. We will also be working on missing a task, which is deciding a face recognition library. And we need to ensure that Google Analytics is on. And we also need to upgrade Material UI and the React version package. So hopefully sometime within the next couple of days or Monday, we will start doing the upgrade. For forms and workflows, we are going to start working on the task details split view and migrating task emails to generate templates. And we need to set up a new section for DRC process guidelines and a few UI fixes that we and UX fixes that we need to address. This will hopefully be the last print for payment. We want to be able to transfer a single payment in addition to all payments, display the general fund as a normal plan. Uh, we want to display also statements and receipts for the general plan and fix a bug on a signing and understanding plots to users as it relates to plans. For permissions, uh, we will be finishing the role by community and remove backward compatibility permissions for all modules. So this sprint, we had 41 merge requests, which is a little bit less than last sprint, but we are still on target. We had 67 issues in the sprint. We completed 52, which means that 15 were left open. Our code coverage is marginally higher at 78.44%. The highlight and the low light, get access of registration without a phone number and email is creating an issue for us in order to identify a user. We are still trying to find an adequate solution to minimize cr the creation of multiple user accounts. We did not want to rush the rollout of community-based permission as 
as the MR contained a lot of file changes. So we are planning on deploying this feature later this week when there are less activities on the production branch on master. Uh, we also will be introducing next print a new metrics. We will be measuring the number of UI UX issues reported by users on the platform with the goal of addressing them over time. As part of this, the initiative to increase code coverage and non vulnerabilities or drop in code coverage or an increase in non vulnerabilities will require additional approval in GitLab. We are still a little bit below our goal for code coverage, but our merge request numbers looks really good. We had 41 merge requests, our goal was 28. And in terms of non vulnerabilities, our goal was 10. We now have 17 non vulnerabilities. For this, we have concluded that the upgrade of Material UI and the upgrade of React JS will drop the non vulnerabilities back to 10. Thank you.